The Seekers Live in the UK uh, CD and uh, DVD is really uh, significant uh, for us all because it was towards the end of our appearances as the uh, as the group. Judith had recovered from her episode and we were back in the country where our success had uh, really, really started. So it was very, very important for us to be doing that tour in the UK. My personal uh, favorite memories from the concert tour of the UK uh, were all around the reception that the group had received from the fantastic audiences that attended all our concerts. It was just a, a most wonderful, wonderful experience to be able to walk out onto that stage and hear the reception that we were given even before we had struck a note. It was just fantastic. The atmosphere of London in those mid-60s was really fantastic and for us to suddenly land in the middle of it was incredible for all of us. I don't think what was going on around us at that time really shaped the sound of the group. I think we always managed to have our own sound, I suppose, uh, and that was, I guess, one of the, one of the main reasons that, that we were able to have our uh, our own audience and uh, to have such have such loyal followers but uh, but we certainly enjoyed what we were listening to the Beatles, Rolling Stones, Kinks, uh, some of the solo artists like Dusty Springfield I mean boy oh boy uh, Scylla Black people that were internationally famous in England at that time was really the hub of the musical universe as far as we could tell. Say goodbye my own true love 1964 was a fantastic year for the sea because it was a real turning point and uh, it would be difficult for me to sort of pinpoint one particular uh, event but there were uh, there were so many and one of them uh, was of course meeting Tom Springfield and uh, the fact that he then went on to write and produce some of our biggest hits and uh, all our singles and albums of that year. We were very very thrilled to have that combination. In fact, Tom became almost the fifth seeker during that early part of our career. Then as a returning band in 2014, when we went back there to do that series of concerts that's now on that uh, CD and DVD, it was just like going home and, and to be with loyal followers and fans who had followed us uh, from that time and also brought up their families to follow us from that time. So we had audiences that consisted of, of older people and younger people and everyone in between. It was fantastic. Yeah.